Good morning, guys. Hey, going to give you an update on our game last night. We played the team that scores the most runs per inning. But we did okay. And I'll give you the score in just a minute. Hang in there. I'll be right back to you. It's a quick update on the game blog. We played the team last night that was first place in offense. They've outscored everyone offensively, and uh, they were a tough team last night. And I'll give you the score in just a minute. But there was a situation I ran into that I didn't really cover in my last video, the slider that I wanted to touch on in this video. I personally don't throw the slider a lot to right-handed batters, but last night there was a situation that was a little unusual, and I used it, and it worked well. There was a runner on first. We had that second base shift on. This is a good offensive team, so we couldn't let them get any kind of runs going. We really had to play tight defensively. He was stepping way out of the box. He's a right-handed batter, stepping way out of the box toward the third base side. Now, I had a little back and forth with the umpire, and, and it was friendly, but you know he was out of the box. Clearly, I said, "Can you please keep the you know Can you please keep the batter in the box?" He says he's in the box. Okay, okay, no problem. But if I had thrown a pitch over that inside corner, essentially to him, it was right over the middle. So this is what he was telling me. He says, either you're going to throw it over the inside corner or you're going to walk me. I'm going to hit the other way or I'm going to get a walk no matter what you do. So I said, okay, fine. So now this is a situation. It's an exception for me because I don't typically, like I said, throw a slider to a right-hander unless maybe it's a taking count. Now, if it's a taking count and I think he's got a good uh, – chance of taking it or I can get ahead of him I'll throw it in on his shoulder and it'll break over the plate for a strike in that situation well but on a hitting count on a count where I know he's gonna swing the bat rarely do I do it but in this case I just threw it over the middle of the plate so it goes over the middle then it breaks hard off the plate to the right well he chases it and he rolls it over to my second baseman and he's playing kind of up the middle just to the first base side of second base picks it up throws the guy out for an easy out most of the time, if the guys want to go the other way, they'll turn their body a little bit, or but they won't step out of the box so far. And besides, last night, I ran into a, a younger umpire. That's another thing, too. This guy was, I think he was training because he kept going back and forth, having meetings with the other umpire and asking questions. So, And, and he was, well, that's, that's a subject for another. Anything under eight feet was flat for him. So I didn't have a chance to have a conversation with him about that last night, but maybe sometime in the future. So I got, I, I was able to pitch nothing under eight feet last night. Oh, the game, yes. We won that game 14 to 10. Our guys hit well, played good defense. I'll take responsibility for six of those runs. Six of those runs were definitely earned. So, but you know, I look at the, uh, you know, holding them to 10 was not bad considering this team, you know, it's been scoring in the high teens. So I felt good about that. And the video on the screwball. I hope to release that Tuesday. So you guys that watched the video on the slider, hope you enjoyed it. And I appreciate all the comments and questions. Man, it's been unbelievable. Best video yet as far as response. Keep an eye out for that, and it should be out, uh, like I said, Tuesday. See you later. Bye.